Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Kim here. I decided to do for this week's video just this natural um, makeup look. I'm gonna just do a walkthrough tutorial and tell you how I do things and just start from a clean face with no makeup and just sh uh, take you through and what I do to get this look. Um, if you're interested and you want to see how I got this, just keep watching and have a great day. Thanks. Bye. Hi guys. Let's just get started into the into the tutorial. <laughs> um, I've already washed my face and have a clean face. I have moisturized. I use Cetaphil cleanser and their lotion. Um, it's just a nice mild cleanser. So I've got that all ready and I'm going to put on my primer. I use this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. It's for pore minimizing. It's the purple one. Um, like I said in my last video, I have larger pores here, and so I just this helps fill in that in and help the foundation going better. So I'm going to put a small amount of my ring finger, just about that much. It doesn't take much, so this would last quite a while. This is about thirty to thirty-five dollars, so it is higher in, but it's going to last a long time, and it helps the foundation going better. So I'm going to just do a small amount, just dab that into where I have the pores. Um, I dab and kind of pack it in. And then after I, I'll smooth it out the leftover over the rest of the face, but I concentrate that coverage there on the cheeks and nose. It is rainy outside today, so Sean finally got me. My my husband does media production, and I was talking about my last video and how I wasn't happy with the lighting in the video and he was like well i have lights i'm like are you holding out on me what so he has me lights set up and i'm hopefully have better lighting this time um i'm gonna go in with my foundation it's the ready set gorgeous that we talked about in the last video i'm almost out i was noticing this morning it's not coming out as easy i just put a good size amount on my um real techniques beauty blender and just go over I apply to my cheeks first because that's where I need the most coverage and then I just kind of blend out from there. I have a big mirror sitting right here so that's what I'm looking at. I will be using some higher end products in this one. But they're some of my most favorite products and they're well worth the price and they last a good while and so it's not like you're going to run through it really fast. I know in my, in my first video I was all about a good deal and I am always about a good deal but when there's a good product there's just a good product. You gotta sometimes spend that little extra money to get something that's going to do a better job. So, I think that looks pretty good. It's hard to tell in the sliding. I'm growing my hair out so it's like getting to that awkward stage where it's like, but it'll be worth it. I'd wake up in a new world every day and change my mind all the time, so I may want to cut it tomorrow. Who knows? Um, okay, so I'm going to go... Tonight, today's eyeshadow look is going to be a little bit darker, so I'm going to wait to do my um, concealer, but normally I would go in with my concealer if I'm not doing too dark of an eyeshadow in case there's fallout or anything. So we'll go ahead and go right into the eyeshadow. Um, I prime my eyelids. It just helps the eyeshadow to stay on better. You can use concealer, but I, I really like this. It's by MAC. MAC is sold at Dillard's. It's called Painterly is the color. It's a pro longwear paint pot. And it's like a cream base um, that you put down under your eyeshadow and it'll help your application go on better. You can blend out better. I really like it. And it cancels out the red and the veins. I mean, I put foundation on my eyelids, but you still could see the red through. So it just helps cancel that out. And like it's, it is a higher end product, but it's good. They have, um, I think Milani has one at Walmart, that uh, eye shadow primer. That's pretty good, but um, I really like that one from MAC. So I'm going to use two eyeshadow palettes today. 
This is the one I talked about at the la in the last video, the Nude Romance. But I'm also going to go over and use um, this shadow palette. It's, they're both from Maybelline Eye Studio. This one's Give Me is the color. Give Me Gold. I'm sorry. Give Me Gold. It is like metallic is all get out and shimmer. Use the shimmer on the lid. And then I'm going to use the matte out of this one to blend out. So I'm going to start with the matte colors. I'm going to go in with just a fluffy brush I bought at Michael's. I'm going to go into this cream color and go in the crease. Let me pin my hair back so I can get it out of the way. We're going to go into the crease and up to the eyebrow with this matte cream shadow. And that will give us something to blend into with the brown. We want to be able to have a flawless blend. And this will help blend that. And plus it will highlight the brow bone. I'm not going to put it on my lid though. So I'm going to go ahead and do my crease and blend out and then do my um, eyelid. So I'm going to take, this is a Sigma E25 brush. It's just a fluffy blending brush. Um, you can get at the drugstore just as long as it's a nice blending brush. I have some from MAC, but then I also have some from Michaels. So. I'm just going to use this brush today. I'm going into this brown shade in the Nude Romance palette. And I'm going to go right in that crease. And just kind of blend, do circular motions and blend that out. I just want a soft transition color. Because what we're going to put on the eyelid is going to be a darker shimmer brown. And I just want this to just fade from that to the cream. So I'm going back in the brown and I'm going to do the same on this side. I'm going to just keep that blended and get that where it's just soft and like I said in the last video that brown shade is more it has a peached tone to it and it just blends out really nicely so once I have that in I'm going to go in on the eyelid and I'm going to go into this give me gold palette I'm going to use a flat um, brush this is a matte to, MAC 239 it's more of a flat pack you could pack the color on with um, I'm going to go into this gold color right here, I think. Yeah, I'll go into this gold color. And I'm just going to tap off the excess and take that across my lid. And it is shimmery. But it has such a pretty color. I just want to pack that in. In a minute, I'll go back um, with the blending brush. I'm going to go back into the gold and do it to the other eye. Maybe when Sean comes home, I've got my makeup all done. It'll take me out. <laughs> okay, so I've got that on both eyes. I'm going to go back in with the brown shade with that um, shading brush and just kind of make sure that no hard transitions we just blend up to nothing. I just want it soft. Once I have that on, this gold shade in this Give Me Gold palette, I'm going to take this with my ring finger, that gold, and just dab right in the middle of my eye. And it's almost as like a highlighter to the eyelid where the top, where the light would hit as my eye, the, <laughs> it's hard to explain, 
the round of my eye, that's where the light's going to hit the most. I'm just going to highlight that top portion. And that is just going to add some, I don't know, just like dimension. And it just adds an extra little, not curvature, but it just, it's highlighting that curve of the eye. And I like to do things like this. It's just ex when you go to explain it, it's ex confusing. Okay, so back from my first video, I've talked about the brush and the eyeliner, so I'm going to do that. Um, I've got my e.l.f. spray. I'm just going to spray it on. I wasn't going to use this, but I thought, no, I should show them. So I've got my black, the Femme Couture Baked uh, Cake Eyeliner, and I'm just going to go in. Well, I don't guess I got it wet enough. It's hard when you're not in the bathroom where you usually do your makeup and <laughs> getting everything out. Okay, so it kind of pulls on the top. I don't know if you can see how it'll pull. And I'm just going to go in. I think I'll get another mirror. I'm just going to go in with a real tight line right next to my eyelashes. to talk when you're doing that. I'm getting that shape. I don't want it real wide. I'm not going to do a wing or anything. I'm just going to keep it real tight and right next to the line, uh, the lash line. I'm going to go in and do the other eye go right back in. I'm not going to re-wet. It seems to be wet enough. Sometimes if it's not wet enough, you can just re-wet and go back in. I'm going to go right back to the other eye. I like to start on the outer because I have more product and then when I don't have as much product on my brush, I'll go to the inner corner because I don't want it to be a hard line. It seems like I need more. I need to wet it. So I'm just going back in. It does make a matte black line which I like. And now getting your thickness is the same. Like one can grow and grow to get the same as the other. And I'll just kind of dab. Also, when you're laying it on top of that shimmer, sometimes it takes the matte away. I'm noticing it's not as matte as it usually is, and it's because it's on top of a shimmer. Okay. So I feel like that looks good. I don't do a black every day. A lot of days I do a smoked out liner. Um, but once you get that concealer on under your eyes, your eyes are just gonna, the, the it's like layers. Your, your face starts taking shape the more you get, the more it comes together. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and do concealer now and then go back with my mascara and let that dry. So I have my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This is well loved. 
I've had it for um, a good while. This is no, uh, NW20 is the color I'm in. This concealer is just, it does not crease. It blends out well. I think it's like $20, but it's so good. And it'll last you quite a while. So I just take a small amount, rub my ring, fing ring fingers together, and I'm just going to dab it in. As you can see, it's considerably lighter than my skin color, but I want to highlight that under eye. I'm trying to camouflage the darkness and, and highlight. We're going to contour and darken our cheekbone, but we want to highlight this portion. And adding the concealer after you've done your eyeshadow, you can kind of cut that um, crease color and keep it clean. So I'm going to go in with my pointy end of my beauty blender and blend that. I've blended it some with my finger, but this just helps it to blend out better. Some people curl their eyelashes quite a bit, or every day, or whatever, but I, I just, it always seems like a waste to me. I don't, to, they just don't say, holy cow, I just squirted concealer everywhere. I'll tell you what, I think I'm about out. It's a lot harder to do videos than I thought it would be. Like, I don't know, you see videos and you think, that's ah, gotta be easy. It is not easy to record. But it's fun. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and set that concealer. Um, another high-end product that I really like is the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Um, this is the color one. And it's not an HD powder. HD powders sometimes um, go on and then you look like a raccoon after when, like with the flash of the camera. This is more of just a light um, brightening powder. It has a, it doesn't have sparkle in it, but it just brightens the under eye. And all I'm doing, it's in the, it's in a little, lid. I'm just putting it some out in the lid and then taking my beauty blender and dabbing in that and then I'm just going to pat that and set that concealer. But I really like this powder. It, it seems to smooth everything out and brighten. And when I say brighten, I don't want to look like a raccoon. But I do want to not have dark eye, under eyes. So once I have that done, I'm going to go back to my mascara. And I like, I've been liking this Slash Sensational by Maybelline. It has more of a curved brush. And then the top, the bottom is longer than the top, I guess. Seems to hold the lashes pretty good. I like to concentrate my product more on the out to pull that eye up. So I'm going to get a good coat on each side. And then I will go in with, L'Oreal has um, telescopic shocking extensions. Both the colors are black as black, but this brush is more of a skinny, short bristled, like plastic bristle, and it's really good for getting in that corner, like because the brush is so skinny, you can really get in and fan those lashes out at the end, and that's what I like. I want to lift up the eye. I like my lashes to be feathery and not um, caked on or I don't want to look like clump Susie. So I just flash, or fan those out, comb through them. I pull my eye out just to get in the inner eye better, but not enough to like tug on it that much.
Okay, and then we're gonna go, I'm not gonna put any eyeshadow on the bottom lashes. I just wanna keep it real light um, and not darken it any. So I'm gonna just take some mascara on the bottom. And this is the perfect brush for that because it's so small. It's so hard to find. I, don't, I won't spend a bunch of money on mascara because the ones I have tried, I've gotten samples for and they were just no good. I, there's no way I would pay $30 for mascara because they dry up, they don't last very long. So anyway, I like that one for bottom lashes. So we're gonna go into the rest of the face. I wanna do some contouring. Um, not necessarily contouring, but more, where's my brush? Oh but more just adding some shape and dimension to the face. I'm just gonna, it's, we're just gonna shade the outer portion down our the hollow of our cheekbone and on the temples a little bit. Um, this product, it, well, this product is by The Balm. They sell it at Kohl's. Kohl's has quite a few higher end um, products there in the, by the um, jewelry counter. Um, but this is their matte bronzer. It's Bahama Mama is the color. I'm just going to take a fluffy angled brush and I'm going to take that right in the hollow of my cheekbone. I'm going to just kind of take it up into the hairline and blend that out and all it's going to, I don't know if you can see, but I've just put it in the hollow and that's just making my cheekbone just pop out. And that's what we want. So I'm just going to take a little bit around the outer of my face. Go on the other side. I'm gonna blend it out. I don't want any harsh lines. A lot of times, once you got it on there, I might take the beauty blender back in and just kind of blend. Okay. Um, Milani, they have it at Walmart, Target, Kmart has it, um, Ulta has it in their drugstore portion. Um, this color is Berry Amore, Amore I think is how you say it. Real pretty rose, sparkly gold color. Really like it because you won't need a highlight, it's just going to act as a blush and a highlight together. And just add some, not shimmer, but yeah, I like it. I don't take it farther in than about there, about two fingers in. I don't want to bring it too close to my nose. So I kind of keep it back on that cheekbone that we just kind of pushed up with the, the bronzer. We want to keep, we're going to make it pop with this blush. This is more of a peachy rose color and with that gold brown shade on the eye. We're kind of keeping it in the same family. Like, like I did with the bronzer, I'm just gonna kinda make sure that everything's blended well. Okay, Okay. so I'm gonna go in with a little bit of powder and just so I keep from being oily on my T-zone. I'm just gonna use the CoverGirl True Blend Press Powder. This is translucent medium, just press. And then I'm gonna go in with a Real Techniques powder brush and just kind of touch up my T-zone where I would get more oily. I see some more, um, I could have concealed these areas on my cheeks, but they're not that noticeable. If I'd have been like paying better attention, I might have concealed them, but it's okay. Um, for lips, I'm just gonna go in with a lip gloss. This is a Lip Plumper by NYC. They carry um, NYC at Walmart. Um, the color is Strawberry Mousse. It's not real tingly. It's not bad, like some of them are. I'm just gonna add that. I don't do a lipstick a lot. I just, I'm a lip gloss girl. One other thing I wanted to show you. This is called a Z palette. 
Um, they sell these at zpalette.com. I'll put a link down below. Also, I think Beauty Choice might sell. There's other websites that sell them. But it's a magnetic eyeshadow palette or whatever you want to put. These two aren't magnetic, magnetizing very well. Um, some of my higher end eyeshadows that I've purchased, these are on my MAC shadows. Um, it's cheaper to buy them just in pan, not in a, not in a compact. So I just purchased the, I think it's like 4 or $5 cheaper just to buy it in the pan. And then I just stick it in here and it magnets in. So I can keep all my good eyeshadows together and make my own little palette here. So I really like this. Um, but the reason I wanted to show you, this color that I purchased from MAC is called Nylon. It's like a gold um, yellow toned shimmer. Um, and I take my ring finger and I will just dab that right in the inner corner of my eye and it is the perfect highlight. I don't like it on the eyebrow or under the eyebrow to highlight because I don't care for shimmer up there. But right here in the inner corner, it's just going to add such a nice, I can't tell if that's, yeah, such a nice um, highlight to the inner corner and draw your eye in. Um, it just brightens the eye. I love it. So M Nylon by MAC. Um, I used for my highlight. That's the finished look and um, I think it came together pretty good. I just like a soft yeah. soft makeup, natural looking. I don't want to be too crazy drama or highlight cheekbone. Um, just kind of keep it soft. Um, so anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.